Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch. I'm on Moodle for Teachers, Professional Development Programs. It's a Moodle site. Moodle is an amazing learning management system. The features are beyond any teacher's expectations. I'm going to show you how to set your time zone so that all the assignments or whatever is time-based, such as Zoom or other live online classes, uh, can be viewed in your real time or wherever you happen to be if you're traveling. I'm going to log in by going to the top right. Top right's very important here because that's where your profile information will also appear so let me click on that I'm going to log in notice there are four options here you can hit on google facebook microsoft or linkedin i'm going to you can also uh, connect your accounts but that's uh, more information in your profile right now it's just the time zone that's how quick it is the first time you register on the site or any time you want to log in I'm not going to go into any of the available courses right now i'm going to go straight but you can. This uh, is available on any page. But I'm going to go into the top right here for my profile, which is ND Nelly Deutsch. Click on that. And then I'm getting lots of information here, the dashboard. You might want to take a look at that. Profile grades, messages, preferences, which is super important. Of course, log out. Going to go into my profile because I want to edit. Now you've got a few options here. Notice there are two gears one or settings one is here and one is here and notice this is the edit profile but there are two of them so i'm going to go into the lower one lower gear and then i'm going to go into edit profile over here and not the top one again notice there are two of them okay this one and this one and they have Slightly different information. You can check that out. The edit profile at the top has less. Going to click on edit profile here. There's other information there that you can take a look at. And then I'm not going to select my country unless I want to. I'm going to select the time zone. Now I already demonstrated this for someone from London. I'm going to change that. So whatever time zones you see in this account ND, it'll be London time. I'm going to change that. Notice it all goes by alphabetical order. So we start with Africa, every area of Africa. If you don't find your particular city, try to find one that's closest to you that has the same time zone. And then there's America, both North and South. I'm going to scroll down until I get to Toronto. You can also take New York, but I'm going to choose Toronto uh, since that's what I want to set my time zone. But by the way, the server time zone is Toronto as well. Let me, before I do that, go down to Antarctica if you happen to be there or Asia, any parts of Asia. Notice all the cities that are available in Asia and then I'll get Atlantic, which is not by alphabetical order in this case, and then uh, Australia, Europe. If you don't find your cities, I said look for the closest one that has the same time zone as you have. And then there's UTC. Now UTC may be relevant to you, and there is Pacific, of course, I didn't mention that, but there's also Indian after Europe and Pacific as well as UTC, or if you choose the server's time, I wouldn't choose the server time. I would choose your time zone. Or if you prefer UTC, that's fine as well. Let me go back to A and America and go down by alphabetical order until I get to Toronto. Click on that, and that, now I have Toronto time. So all the Zoom meetings and all the assignments that are time-based will appear with my time zone. Please remember to update, or you'll have to do it again. So let me update it so that it shows Toronto time. Let me go back now to recent and my Evo sessions. I can go up to recent and view them there, or I can view them on the site home, all the courses, or under my dashboard, which is on the left. So these are all the available courses that I can take right now. It's Evo. 22 or evo is generally january and february let me go into um, 
the last one that I was on. Let me go through. You can also view all the courses under here. Lots of reading. You know, this is great for students because they learn that they have no choice but to read. I'm going to go to um, video-based mobile learning. And notice on the right over here, let me show you that again. That's it. On the right, you'll see an arrow pointing to the right you're going to click on it and opens up a door where you have your last assignments your last announcements but what i want to point out is the completion tracking completion progress where you can uh, see what you haven't done yet and then go into it and do it if it's an x you haven't done it if it's a v a green v you've done it you don't need to do it again of course and if you uh, scroll down it maybe higher up on in your course you'll get to upcoming events under upcoming events these could be courses but in this case they are zoom meetings over here so uh, you'll click on it and then it'll take you to your time notice now it says 11 which is correct but you will see another time zone this is really really important so make sure that uh, you have your very own time zone in the course that you're taking on Moodle for Teachers or any other Moodle site for that matter. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to add them to the comment box. Subscribe and have a great day.